It's been about a month now since that crash. Which I guess you could say it's more of a save because I actually managed to walk away from it. Um, nonetheless, it's one that really shook me mentally. Um, and even though I'm back on my bike, I've made a few changes, at least for the time being, while I regain my confidence. One of which is the bike. I am now on a medium size 2021 Ibis Ritmo V2. And although it's still considered an enduro bike, um, I think of it more as a long legged trail bike. The reason why I decided to let go of my Meta SX, um, which I really liked the bike and there was nothing wrong with it, it had more to do with one of the comments that was left in my last video. This particular one from Teddy um, really stood out. There's too much progression creep in mountain biking, especially with how bikes are these days. These long travel 29ers bail people out of bad situations so many times that eventually it catches up to them. I tend to agree 100% with that statement. Manufacturers today continue to make long slack bikes capable of plowing through just about anything. So much so that these bikes can actually mislead riders into believing that we are more capable than we truly are. Now, the second thing that stood out to me is the progression creep in riding is bad because the baseline of why to ride a bike is fun. And if you're stressing on trying to go fast, conquering features, and ultimately end up in a hospital, that's a severe hit to your bottom line, which is having fun. Now, there's nothing wrong with the desire to want to be better. I think there's a lot to be gained from that mentality and that drive to want to progress. But after my last crash, I realized that I had become obsessed with progressing. And the third and last thing that really stood out from Teddy's comment is this. No reason to effectively put writing before your family and well-being if writing isn't your career. This is a simple statement, but a powerful one. We can essentially substitute the word writing for anything. Truth be told, honest to God, that last crash was a huge reality check for me. And it did make me question mountain biking and whether the rewards um, are worth the risk. But I'm not gonna stop riding. Um, I am, however, making some changes to lessen the risk while still um, having fun, right? Which is why I started riding to begin with. A few of those changes are the bike, obviously, which I already told you about, um, which is helping me to push harder on the climbs. It's, it's a much more efficient climber. Uh, and on the descents, well, not every ride has to be a PR ride. I'm not running Strava um, as much as I used to before. It's one less thing to think about, which is also true uh, of the GoPro and not taking it with me on every ride. Um, because again, it's one more thing to think about. It's just too much. Lastly, um, this last weekend was opening day at our local bike park and I managed to make it up there uh, for a few rides and uh, I, I kept it cool. 
I, I was very intentional about riding within my limits. And as it turns out, um, I had a really good time. Short. <laughs> I gotta practice that one some more. My focus wasn't so much speed, I was more focused on just flowing um, and making sure that I, you know, that I worked on getting the right form on the jumps. Um, and I had a really good time. Now, to some of you watching, you may consider this high risk. Um, for me, it, it, this particular day at the bike park wasn't so much high risk. Uh, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with those jumps. I'm still not boosting uh, as high as I would like to boost. Um, I'm obviously not very stylish either, um, but that's okay. Um, I just, um, yeah, I, I had a really good time. Again, I was intentional about riding within my limits. <laughs> that was big. And, uh, and everything went great. So progression creep, is it really a thing? I think that it is. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, ride your own ride. God bless.